to just how it looks. It looks so cute. I love it, honestly. I suppose I want this, but I'm too itchy. I get itching too much. I have to find something else because. Oh, by the way, I got my hair done. Done by me now. Y'all already know. So right now, we're gonna go and watch a movie. Let me try and pick one to see. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put back my list. And I'm just gonna like pick. And hopefully it's on Netflix because I'm not, I'm not going to be looking all over Corpse Bray. Really? Y'all said I didn't move my finger. It said Corpse Bray, so I'm gonna watch it. And <laughs> the thing is, I had it playing some nights a few nights ago, and it's like I fell asleep. I always fall asleep. I always do. I'm sorry. Anyways, this is my decoration. So, this is my little casper that I have hanged up over my desk which is like a mess right now but we're not going to worry about that i have my little goodie plate i have these little jack-o-lanterns that don't light up but i did get one artificial candle and i put inside of one so it could light up and I actually, I believe I have eight of these. I gave me not two because like I have too much. And I have about, oh no, I had six. So I have two right here. I gave me not two and I still have two more in the bag. Because it's like I don't know what to use it for. Hopefully it's still light enough. So yeah, that's how it is. It's so cute. Let me check out the light off. This is how it looks. It looks so cute. I love it, honestly. And I just wish that they came with artificial lights because I would so love to have them, like about three of them in my room, just light up, you know? Then I have this spider web with some spiders in it. Honestly, they have frightened us as yet because we basically know that it's there. But it's given kind of messy. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. I, don't, I really don't know how to. And then over here, I also have some more spider web on my mirror. Good night guys, it is Wednesday, October 12th, back with the Vlogtober, y'all already know. Um, so today we're gonna be carving all the pumpkins. It's been about almost a week since I bought them and it's time to carve them out, okay? Cause I think it's attracting flies as well, so it needs to go. So actually the flat side is the side where the pumpkin was laying on the ground. So this is the side it was laying on, on the ground. As you can see, it's actually rotting in on this side first because that's where the dirt was. Yeah. And we will be making our carving yeah. on the opposite side. So on the round side. All right, I'm gonna get my bowls on my setup and I'll be right back. And I'm gonna let y'all look for a uh, carving for the pumpkin until I'm back.
got my stuff. I hope y'all found a uh, carving. And yeah. I, pretty, I hope it's a good looking face because we don't want an ugly pumpkin, okay? Thank you. And I hope it wasn't anything difficult because I'm not a pro. As you can see, I don't have proper tools. You know, because normally there's like a pumpkin carver or something and I don't have that. So, we got to do it pretty basic and easy to say. Okay? So I think the first thing is that we have to cut the bottom of it and then scoop up all of what is inside. The bottom or the top? The bottom. Dangerous right now. Don't don't try this at home, please. Don't try. Just do not. Just do not.
Okay, so guys, um, I finished cleaning all the pumpkin. As you can see, it's pretty clean inside. It's a few hairs in the back, but there's nothing big. I'm actually on live on Instagram, so if you're not following me on Instagram, you can always follow me on Instagram, so you could keep up with me on a daily basis. So right now we're gonna carve out the pumpkin. I got a face, a carving that I wanna do from Pinterest, and I find that it's pretty cute in a sense that it's a little bit scary. And we're gonna use that. And it looks very easy, okay? Cause y'all know I don't have the tools. I have like a knife and a spoon, so we gonna have to try and make it work. But this is the image right here. I'll also put it on the screen so y'all could see. Better. I'm gonna just see the picture right now if I forget. I think I'm gonna start out by doing the mold because the mold goes up like all the way up to like the cheeks, I could say. Hello guys, so look how far I've came. It's actually 8 p.m. and I have reached this far. Yo, it looks so cool. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Mommy! Mommy! Come see! Come see what you're doing! Oh. <laughs> it look good. It look good, eh? Yeah, do the oils. You think more and... Where are you going to cut it with? Now you feel sharp? No. Can you imagine it on my head? Put in my hair first, take some pictures after and do light outside. But how are you going to hear this? I'll make a big hole at the bottom. Can you make a hole at the bottom? Yeah. But yeah, put them all too low down though. Mm-mm, they're good, man. They're good? Mm-mm, they're good. I'll make a big hole like from there and go all the way to the back. It's Sunday, October 16th and I haven't seen you guys since probably last week. I can't remember. Oh no, probably Wednesday night when I was cutting the pumpkin. But last night, I went to the pictures with a pumpkin head. And guys, it was like three days, three, four days that I've been in the room. It caught some flies, not much. And it also got um, mold, so it was green inside. It was not a stink. And I took the pictures with it on my head. So yeah, I did put a plastic sack. So you don't mess up my hair and make me smell stinky. But um yeah, it's been 
Oops, sorry. I actually passed potato on my face. <laughs> so it looks so crusty. But yeah, so I'm gonna show you all the pictures real quick. I'm gonna show you all the pictures. Real quick. It wasn't that bad. I didn't want it to be like picture perfect, but what I got was actually definite. It was definitely good, like this. Mm -hmm. But is it good? <laughs> is it good? Mm -hmm. No? It matches my feet though, look it. I got this one too. What do we need? And this one, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I said yes. I just need to be squaring my whole body. Just need to match my feet. That's it. That's it, guys. That's it. But um, I actually get my inspiration from uh, Veda. <laughs> Well, let me show y'all. I'm just showing Sheen. I ain't show y'all. Oh, but I have more. Oh, I didn't see this. Oh, look at this, guys. I didn't see that. My photographer is the best. Oh my god. Oh my god. I look. It looks sick, though. It looks sick. 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 Okay. She can't like. She can't like, guys. She can't like. I just don't like the ones with the flash. Cause you see it like inside the pumpkin, so you're basically seeing like me inside the pumpkin. So I don't really like those with the flash. But like it's in, um, it's a live picture, so it have like. Let me show you. You know, see, so I can like screenshot it just when it gets dark. And he was taking it in, in zero point five, and I was like, Nah, I don't want it like that. How come I didn't see those pictures though? Look, I didn't scroll up. What a dumbass. What a dumbass. But yeah. And I didn't show y'all, I didn't tell y'all this neither, but like on Friday night, we tried this Halloween escape room. Halloween themed escape room at Dutch Blonde. And honestly, guys, it was the bomb. I didn't get to film. Sadly, I did get some clips of the place, but not the room itself because phone wasn't allowed. Phones wasn't allowed, which is literally like understandable, literally, you know, comprehensible, you could say. So, um, comprehensible in English? With. Like, it was completely understandable that phones wasn't allowed. So, I didn't get to film the rooms for you guys, but just know that it was it was awesome we tried um the scariest room is the halloween themed room uh, i don't know the name but they also have other rooms named zanzibar and something else can't remember but the room guys it was the bomb it was the bomb i would definitely try back that room again just because even though i even though we finished the whole thing not in the time frame but even though we finished the whole room like even if you go do it back again like i wouldn't remember what was what you know i wouldn't remember the codes but i would remember i would probably remember how to get the code and stuff but it's like it's like my, my, my memory isn't that all of that and then we kind of cheated at the end because like we was already done we had already passed the time for it was like we just want to finish it at least you know so we could feel like we win and we did that you know but we didn't open all the boxes and stuff um in order you could say we kind of cheated a little bit 
me and precisely because I moved the box and I did have to move the box and we end up cheating a little bit anyways so yeah that's that if you guys want to try out that room definitely try out this is the place and everything um this is the instagram of the place as well so try it out say that i sent you show them my instagram whatever whatever and y'all already know okay y'all already know but i'm really i'm really sorry i didn't get to film that for you guys but like sometimes you just want to enjoy the moment you know but yeah thank you for watching Vlogtober part 2